All right, welcome back. In this section, we're gonna talk about the marketing section of Infusionsoft, and I think it's the most exciting and most useful part of Infusionsoft. If you're gonna if you're gonna use it, it's probably because of this feature. So let me just show you. I'm gonna come up here, and under this marketing section, there's gonna there's a couple of things here, uh, and I'm not gonna focus on really any of them except for the campaign builder, the email broadcast. I'll just mention briefly that's like a constant contact or a Mailchimp functions in in much the same way, except the added benefit here is that all of your details are in one system. Therefore you can segment uh, similar to what we were talking about before where maybe somebody has, is a prospect but they haven't yet attended one of your webinars and so you wanna be able to send out an email, one-off email to that group and invite them. That's where the email and broadcast section comes into play. The campaign builder is a little more in depth and uh, it's, I think, probably mislabeled. In my opinion, it should be called the workflow builder because a lot of people think campaigns, therefore it's really only good for marketing. And the reality is that's, that's not the case. You can also use it for a lot of your fulfillment campaigns as well. So for example, you might have a course and you want to follow up every week for the first three weeks, make sure they're getting into the course, that they're logging in, that they're having a good experience. And then at the end of that campaign, you might want to ask them for a survey or for testimonial or for a review, all of those things. And as you can see, that's not very marketing e, but at the same time, it's, it's very helpful and you can use this tool for that as well. So again, don't be uh, tricked by this uh, campaign builder uh, term, it's it's really a workflow builder. You can use it in any part of your business where it makes sense. Uh, when you're building out these campaigns, it's helpful to think uh, in in the customer journey. And what I mean by that is every business likely has their customers go through three main sections. And let me just briefly explain what I mean. Section one is how they first hear about and, and learn about the business. That's, that's section one. Section two is how they then purchase and buy from the business. And then section three is how they interact with the business and become an advocate for the business, hopefully. And so those are the three, as you can see, the three main functions and, and sections that, that a contact would go, basically the life cycle of that contact would go through with, with even your business, if you think about it as well. So when I'm building these workflows, I like to categorize them into those three groups. And I've got lots of rules about how I create these, and I don't wanna go into a lot of those, I just basically wanna give you a quick tour of, of how this might work. So in this first example, I'm gonna create a campaign with you, and it's gonna be that first, uh, and maybe that middle section, which is how do they hear about us and then learn about us. So let me go to this button up here, and I'm gonna hit create my own campaign. And while this is loading, I'll just briefly explain. The idea here is that we are going to offer a video series and uh, someone can come to a landing page on our website and they can request the video series. Let's say it's a three-part training video series. And at the end of that, end of those videos, we're going to follow up and ask them if they liked it. And we're also gonna use a little bit of the functionality here to track, are they opening the emails? Are they clicking on the videos? You know, those sorts of things. So uh, that's the context of, of this particular campaign. So I'm just gonna call this video series and I'm gonna hit save. Over here on the left, you're gonna see uh, in our toolbox uh, two main sections, and then down here we can also add notes. So I'm just gonna show you here real quick. This is a note, that's all it does. So I'm gonna delete that, and we're gonna focus our time here on this goals and sequences. Goals inside of Infusionsoft act as trigger points. Those are things that either we are taking, actions that we are taking internally as a user, or the contact, meaning the prospect or the customer, is taking an action. And you can see really good examples here. A landing page might be submitted. That's the that's the contact taking action. Or let's say um, a tag was applied to their record. Maybe that's uh, one of our users going in and applying a tag to their record or applying a note to their record would be another thing that a user might do. Completing a task would be another thing that a user might do. Um, the ones that the contacts are gonna do are submitting web forms. They might go to that landing page, submit that landing page. They might purchase a product. They might open an email or click on a link within an email. So you can kind of see these are all like trigger points that we are waiting for. And then once those trigger points happen, that's when the sequences come into play. And the sequences is where, really where the automation is housed. So within a sequence, so this is kind of like the house of automation, we might send them a follow-up email, and then wait a couple of days, and then send them another follow-up email, wait a couple of days. All of that is gonna be housed within the sequences. And we'll dive into more details with this example as it moves on. 
So what I'm gonna do is jump into this uh, goal section and I'm gonna drag out this landing page builder. So Infusionsoft allows you to create landing pages and I'm gonna say video series request. So uh, I'm gonna jump into here. And again, the idea here is that we would have a landing page on our site and that person could go to our website and request a video series. So I've got some templates here that I might like to, to use in this case. And I'm gonna go ahead and choose, oh man, there's too many good options here. Uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and choose this one. It's gonna give me a quick preview. And I'm gonna go ahead and say, yeah, let's use this template. So as you see, the campaign builder allows you to edit everything within its, it's all kind of confined into itself. Uh, which is really nice. I'm just clicking into things and then clicking back out of things. But uh, the campaign builder you'll see is a canvas for a reason. It's a canvas because it, it it walks you through a customer journey step by step. What are they supposed to do? Step one in this case is for them to fill out this landing page. So I'm going to say video series and hit next step. Now the landing page builder is a little more resource intensive and so it loads as you can tell already it loads a little bit more slowly than some of the other uh, sections of Infusionsoft and that's okay just make sure that it is going to do what it's supposed to all right so here's the landing page and as you can see I can hover over anything I can highlight it I can change the the wording so I'm gonna say get um, free video series to help you succeed and it might you know using using this theme here it might be about yoga or or exercise in some way and uh, what we can do is put more information about uh, what that video series could be but as you can see the main thing here the main reason that we we're creating this is that we want to get their contact details they might have come in from Facebook or from an ad or something like that and we want to capture first name last name email and company when a contact submits this form, they're gonna be automatically created as a new contact inside Infusionsoft, or the contact that they already have inside Infusionsoft will be updated, letting us know that they also uh, requested this video series. I'm gonna call this good. I'm not gonna do anything else because I think we're, we're at a good spot here. I just wanted to briefly show you what, this can, what these landing pages can do. I'm gonna go back to campaigns up here on the top left. We're gonna pop back out to that canvas, that, that workflow builder. All right, so the video series has been requested, what next? That's where the sequences come into play, and that's where I was mentioning, that's where the, the automation is housed inside of these sequences. And I'm gonna say, deliver three videos. And I wanna connect these in, because what's gonna happen is anyone who requests that the video series from that landing page is gonna be dropped into these, uh, into this uh, three video series. So I'm gonna click in here, and right away, I'm going to say uh, that uh, I, I want to send them an email, but before I do that, I want to just make sure that I know who this person is in the future. So I'm actually going to apply a tag. By the way, let me pause really quickly. You were, before we were seeing goals and sequences, we're not seeing any of that stuff anymore because we are inside of a sequence. Everything is more process driven and automation driven. So that's why you're seeing things about timers, different communications that we can send out, different process things that we can do. Uh, and, and you'll notice a lot of these relate to CRM type activities, applying tags and notes and tasks. And then again, some other notes sections down here. So I'm gonna say in this case, I'm gonna go in here, I'm gonna apply a tag and it was called requested video series. Now I don't have that tag already created, but I'm gonna create it now. And I'm gonna hit save and there we go. You can kind of see it changes colors letting me know this is good to go. And I'm going to send the first video, video one. I wanna send these a day apart. So my timers are gonna be like this, delay, one day, let me click into here, and choose one day, run on any day, doesn't matter, it could be week a, a weekday or weekend only, but in this case I don't care, I'm just gonna say any day, and then I wanna run it at about 11 a.m. the following day. Once I've done that, I'm gonna do email or video two, and then I'm gonna do this one more time, and I'm just gonna duplicate this one to save us a little bit of time, and save, and I'm also gonna duplicate this one to save a little bit of time. You can see there's lots of shortcuts here that we can access. So as you can see here, the process now is they go to that landing page, they requested the video series, and now I'm going to first apply a tag and then send a video. These two, these two actions 
because because there isn't any like delay in between them they will happen basically within seconds of each other and then we're going to wait a day send video two wait a day and send video three and that's really it so i'm going to jump into this email i just want to show you briefly how these emails uh this email builder works i've got some templates here that i that i can uh, access i'm going to use this one here and i'm going to change this to come from me and i'm going to say here's video one and uh, and that's it. Uh, all I have to do is edit this this email, and you can see it's it's very block based. If you're if you've used a constant contact or a Mailchimp in the past, this should ring pretty familiar to you. This shouldn't be too difficult to learn. Um, there is a video snippet that allows you to integrate with Wistia, YouTube, or Vimeo. So if I had a, a video uh, already in mind and I had the URL, I would just paste it in here. It would grab uh, the URL right here. Uh, sorry, the, the thumbnail, and it would display that as a an actual image that's clickable within this email. So really cool feature there if I was doing uh, a video series that I wanted to send out. All of this other stuff is, is very customizable. I would say, you know, check out the video to learn X, Y, and Z. I would probably put the title up above the video. So right here. And then this, this image right here might be a, an image of me instead, or an image of what they're going to learn. So I'm gonna get rid of that for now. That for now. And then this button would be one more call to action, which is you know, check out the video. So now they've got, uh, again, I don't. this would show the image of the video, the thumbnail of the video. This is gonna tell them what they're gonna learn, and then one more kind of button call to action to tell them to go and do it. And then up here, I would swap that out with, with my logo. And I've already set up who it's coming from and what the subject of that email is. So there you go. You can see that it really uh, quickly and easily I'm able to set up a whole video series and, and a series that's going to send them a video every day for three days. All right, in this one, I'm going to actually make this button go to a URL because I want to show you that in just a little bit. So for now, it's just going to go to google.com. Go back. Oops. I'm going to come back into this email and I'm going to mark it as ready. You can see up here it says draft, and now it says ready. And uh, what you'll notice is it turns itself green. So you can kind of see some things up here, it says setup required, and some of these others say ready. And that's because I've already marked this video one as ready. I'm not gonna do video two and three. You get the, you get the point, I think, that uh, the, what the idea is really, which is that I can move, uh, I can create video emails for each of these for my video series. I could end it there, but, uh, but I don't want to. What I want to do is I want to take it one step further. What I want to do is track who's actually uh, clicking on those videos. So I'm going to use another goal here, and I'm going to drag that out and connect it in. And I'm going to open this up. And now you can see this check out the video, that button that, um, that I had set up that goes to google.com. It's now a green check mark. And so what we're telling Infusionsoft is, you know, listen for that if they click on that then we want to do something else with that group of people in this case what I'm gonna do is say notify me to follow up personally so now I've got a different sequence different from the deliver the, th the three videos and here I'm gonna click in and I'm going to create a task that will show up on my dashboard when somebody clicks to go watch one of those videos and I'm gonna say email this person personal email for watching video series and um, and then I can create those tasks that are those tasks will be automatically generated and as you saw previously they'll automatically show up on my desktop uh, sorry on my dashboard and that's it so that's that's a really quick overview of how you might set up an initial campaign an, an initial video series lead magnet campaign you can kind of see going back to my kind of three sections of, of your customer journey. This would kind of this would basically fit in that first section, where somebody is uh, getting to know us and they're learning about our business. And obviously, the, the whole purpose of these videos is to educate, but also probably do some selling as well. So uh, I'm going to keep moving forward because I think there's some other examples that we can dive into. I'm going to delete all of these. And I'm going to start over. The next one is a webinar registration example. So I'm going to do, uh, I'm going to spend quite as much time just going to give you a quick overview of what this might look like.
So at, the, at a high level, I would have a landing page that is a webinar registration page. And from here, I'm going to drop people into a reminder sequence. So reminder about webinar. And that's to make sure they actually show up. I'm going to click in here and just show you briefly that uh, the timers that we were using before, where we were telling it to wait a day, I'm going to use a slightly different timer now. I'm going to use a date timer. And I'm going to say, you know what? Let's say my webinar is on the 19th. And so I want to do my first email on the 15th, and then another one on the 17th, and another one on the day of on the 19th. So you can see that now I can get a little more specific about when and where exactly how I get those emails sent out. It's less of an evergreen campaign. It's more of a, this is live. It's happening on this date, and I can't wait a day because I don't know if they're going to come in today or three days from now. So this might be a join us on our webinar today. Uh, email and I could you know build that out like I said uh, leading up to this date I only did one but I could do every day leading up to the webinar and once they've done that a lot of the webinar integrations out there with zoom there's some there's some integrations that allow me to see did they attend the webinar or did they not attend the webinar didn't attend and I'm going to connect these into each other And now I'm going, to, I'm going to create more sequences here because what I want to do is follow up differently. Those that attended probably saw my call to action. So I'm going to remind them about the call to action, which was to go sign up for my course or to go, you know, um, go to an application to speak with me. On the didn't attend, what that might look like is, um, hey, you need to watch this replay. So you can kind of see how nice it is to be able to segment my the audiences and follow up with them a little bit differently. And the beauty of all of this is once you've set it up ahead of time, you don't really have to do anything else. Uh, it, it basically runs on itself in an automated way. So uh, that's really it. I mean, at a really high level, uh, I don't want to get into a ton of, ton of details here. Uh, because I think you can see uh, just based off of all of this that there are a million different directions we could go with this. But I did want to give you two examples of how you could use automation and this campaign builder to help build your business in a, in a, in a more effective way. I mentioned earlier on, I think this is the most exciting piece of Infusionsoft. And most people who purchase Infusionsoft buy it for this reason, because it can do a lot of things that would require otherwise human interaction. And so uh, I'll go ahead and leave this here with you. And obviously, hopefully I've given you some really helpful information. If you have any questions, you can reach out and we'll go from there. Thanks.